Welcome to this presentation on the User Experience Management by NOAA tool. The SAP User Experience Management by NOAA tool manages the real user behavior across the entire SAP landscape. We provide analytics about the user behavior when they interact with the SAP solutions, and we're tracking the user adoption, experience, performance, and workflows as they interface with the SAP solution via either the new SAP Fury screens or the old SAP GUI. Regardless of the way in which they interact, we are tracking the interaction at the application module and screen level. So as the user interacts with the screen, we are finding out what the render time is on each of the pages, as well as any messages that are displayed to them, such as error messages, which allows us to group those types of responses to understand where people are having issues with the system. And most importantly, we're writing a new set of transaction data. Traditionally, people have had to rely on the technology and process layer to be able to mine the server locks to be able to get an insight into user behavior. What we do is look at it from the people perspective to create a set of data that can then be consumed by an analytics layer. You can either use the NOAA Cloud dashboards on general release in Q3, business objects for both on-premise and cloud-based solutions, as well as modern BIs such as the SAP SAC Analytics Cloud to be able to consume the OData and run your own reports. Today, we're going to have a look at how companies are using the SAP UEM tool to have a more efficient management of business processes. We're going to have a look at how you can measure process adoption, identify business process improvements, verify user compliance, and identify top and bottom performers. Recent study by, I, by IDC and SAP alongside NOAA has shown that the average annual benefits you can expect per 1,000 SAP users on a solution is about half a million dollars. So let's move into the demo system and see how our clients are realizing those gains. So here we are in our business processes section. We can see all of the different processes that are running in the system for the time slice we're looking at. And we've identified this approving purchase orders business process. We can see how much activity is being done on that process, whether or not it is being done on a month end, a weekend or, or a daily. We can see what sort of errors people are having in that process. And we can also see what the response times are. So we've got that sort of metadata around the business process before we drill into the business process. Once we understand what the environmental factors are for the business process we want to look at, we can drill into it and see what applications that particular business process, in this case, the purchase orders, runs across. And we can see there's a number of applications here that are involved to support that business process. And we can click down into the modules as well. So here we've identified that this application is where the majority of the business process is taking place. This is the module that people are spending the time on. And we can also very easily see that we've actually got some errors being created. There are a lot of errors, in fact. And when we drill into those errors, we can see that the errors are not evenly distributed. It's a single error that's causing us a lot of problems around entering incoming company invoices. So we can see where this is occurring in terms of the number of users that are being impacted and where it is being distributed. We can drill into the users. We had 92 users there. And we can then, if we wish, drill down into an individual to look at the business process in detail and where it's failing. So if we click on the view data here, we're going to be able to see the business process from a single user. And we can see all of the different activities and operations that they perform to complete that business process. So we can see where we're having issues. So you can see here, we are collecting all of the data. So we can also see where those errors are occurring, where there are different problems that the user is encountering in the process. And this allows us to understand the business process in more detail and start to understand what we can do to create a better process. If we're looking to see who our best user is to use as a benchmark in this, we can put them onto a grid here. We've got a competency grid, how many transactions they're doing and how well they're doing them. We can put it by different demographics. In this case, we're looking at the finance team and we can see that this gentleman here is 
our top performer. So we would want to go in and see what that individual is doing. This would allow us to be able to use this individual as a benchmark for the rest of the employees. If you'd like to learn more about how we're using this tool set to drive business improvements, please contact your local SAP rep or contact NOAA directly on the details you can see on your screen.